Here it is again. Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv. I'm going to answer another question from Twitter. This one comes by way of, uh, let's see, who asked this question? This comes from Guitar4542 on Twitter. Guitar4542, and he asks, how do I speed up my MacBook? Okay, Guitar, Guitar4542, 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 say that fast. How do you speed up your MacBook? Well, I got about 10 or 11 tips that I'm going to give you. Um, and I'm going to try not to make this video long because it could be a very long video because there's a ton of things you can do to speed up the Mac OS X operating system. And that's what this, these tips are kind of surrounding. Mac OS X as a whole, not specific to the MacBook, but if you apply these to your MacBook, you may see some improvement. I don't know how much, but you know when you add them up, you'll see a, a level of improvement. First thing is to max out your RAM max out your RAM. If your MacBook, I don't know how much they, I think they're up to three gigabytes max now, two or three gigabytes. I don't have a MacBook. I got a MacBook Pro. But if you got a MacBook and you haven't maxed out the RAM, go to Newegg.com. Go to, I got a video on where to find good RAM prices. Search my channel for that. Find the best RAM. It's cheap. It's the best way to get, it's, this is the cheapest way to get improvements on Mac OS X. Max it out. Get the maximum amount of RAM. I can't stress that enough. Uh, the next thing is to keep hard drive space free on your uh, startup disk. Uh, if, you, um, if you're running low on startup disk space or on your startup drive, uh, Mac OS X tends to lag a lot because it relies a lot on virtual memory. Even though you may have a lot of memory, it's still going to use virtual memory. So you need to have some space available on your hard drive on your startup disk. So clean out your hard drive. Maintain it regularly. You know, Just clear out that space. Empty the trash. You know. Uh, the third thing is to disable dashboard if you're not using it. Dashboard runs in the background and you have all these dashboard widgets. So just disable it. Just go to Google, type in how to disable dashboard. It'll tell you exactly how. I don't need to give you a link. All you got to do is go to Google and search for this stuff. Um, or if you do use dashboard, just close widgets that you're not using because they consume resources. And that's the key here is that you want to minimize resources as much as possible. Uh, you want to minimize the processes that log in automatically. That's the fourth thing. You get sometimes a lot of programs you install, they'll they'll start up automatically when you log in, and you may not even want to use them. So once you go through your login items in the system preferences, and just take out stuff that you don't use all the time, just start it up manually when you need to use use it. So minimize those uh, programs that you log in automatically with. Um, also, if you're not using Spotlight. Spotlight is an indexing thing that you can launch applications from. You can also uh, search your hard drive. If you're, if you're not using Spotlight regularly, disable it. it. It consumes resources when it runs in the background. Disable Spotlight. If you don't know how to disable Spotlight, go to Google, type in, how do I disable Spotlight? You got 10,000 articles on how to do this. It's, it's simple stuff. Okay. Uh, there's a couple programs you can download. Download a program called Secrets. And download a program called Tinker Tool. These programs will allow you to customize your GUI, your interface, and other aspects of Mac OS X so you can speed things up. If you want to disable certain things, enable certain things, these two things make it very, very easy to do, though. You can tweak a ton of settings with these, okay? Uh, the next thing, minimize eye candy. You know, don't go all out with these crazy backgrounds and animated backgrounds. And, you know, the a lot of developers and even myself, Sometimes I would just have a black or a black or a solid color background, so I don't utilize a lot of resources. I want to save those resources for other things. So try to minimize the eye candy. Tinker Tool and Secrets will will help you in that to just minimize a lot of that stuff, and um, you'll be glad you did. And the next thing is to disable menu extras. A lot of programs will put a little menu extra or a little icon in the menu. These things add up. As you get more and more of those, more and more of those up there, they'll consume resources. So disable ones you don't need. Like I have a menu extra for uh, iStat, which shows me CPU and memory. That's about the only ones I really rely on. And uh, there's a couple other ones, but you don't have to have these. Uh, they don't have to be there. There's other ways to get to that stuff. Disable spaces. If you're not using spaces, you know the multiple desktop and Leopard? The multiple desktop, just disable it. Go in System Preferences, says and uncheck enable spaces. Hey, that'll that'll free up some resources. You don't have to have all those spaces available anymore. So disable spaces. Uh, reduce the number of colors in your resolution. You know you have these millions of colors that you, everybody likes to pick. It gives you the best color, best. 
If you don't need it, go to thousands. You'll get used to it. You won't notice. This will save resources. Precious, precious resources. Uh, go to a lower resolution. If you don't, <laughs> I know it's a MacBook. It, it, it doesn't have a lot of screen real estate, but if your MacBook is too slow, disable the resolution. It'll speed things up. And finally, you can disable font smoothing. This is a, a, a old G3 the G3 Max, we used to put OS 10 on there. If you disable font smoothing, that used to work. I don't know if it'll work so much now, but it's worth a try. You know, disable font smoothing if you really don't need it. So that's about 10 or 11 tips that I can recommend to speed up Mac OS 10 if you need help learning how to do this. Again, Google and all things tech. Google is your best friend. Just type in the question and Google, and you will get so many hits that you can try. And uh, you'll get people probably replying saying this worked or this didn't work. Uh, so you won't be scared to try something that may damage your system. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv. Uh, Guitar 4542, I hope I answered your question on how to speed up Mac OS 10 and how to speed up your MacBook. Get the RAM, man. That's the biggest one. Get that RAM. All right, take care.